Hey there, future real estate superstars. Welcome back to my channel where we crack the code to real estate math, no matter what state you're in. If you're aspiring to ace that state exam, you've come to the right place. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the like, drop a comment, and don't miss any of our future videos by hitting that notification bell. My name is Maggie Teoso. I'm a licensed Florida real estate instructor. And today we will be diving into the deep, fascinating world of real estate commissions. We'll break down the concepts, its definition, and sharpen your math skills by tackling 10 different commission problems similar to the ones that you may see on your state exam. So go ahead, grab your pen and your paper and a calculator, and let's get started. First things first, what exactly is commission? In the real estate industry, commission refers to the fee earned by real estate agents or brokers for their services in facilitating a property transaction. It's typically a percentage of the final sale price. Before we jump into solving commission problems, let's take a moment to understand what the T method is and why it's so valuable. When you encounter a commission problem, it often involves multiple variables such as the total sales price, commission rate, and sometimes even adjustments or splits. The T method is a simple yet systematic approach that helps you break down complex commission scenarios into manageable steps and takes the guesswork out on whether you have to multiply or divide. Let's explore the key concepts of the T method for a commission problem. The top portion is where you would input the part or portion of the total amount. Here, you would put the commission amount in dollars if given in the problem. The left side is where you will place the total sales amount of the property sold or the total commission when calculating a broker split. And the right side, you will always put the rate or percent amount. Remember to always convert your percent to a decimal by dividing by 100 before doing any calculations. These three elements will be the foundation of our problem solving process. Now that we understand the T method's components, let's put it into action. We'll walk through a step-by-step -step process to solve commission problems effectively. All right, let's put our math skills to work with our first example problem. Number one, what is the commission amount on a property that's sold for $300,000 with a 5% commission rate? In this example, I see they have given us a total sales price of $300,000. So that will go in this column. They also give me a 5% commission rate. So my percent will always go in this column. Remember to always convert your percent to a decimal by dividing by 100. So that gives me 0 0.05. Now, according to the T-chart, I just have to multiply. So $300,000 times 0 0.05 equals $15,000. So my answer is B. Number two. A real estate agent earns a 4% commission on a property sold for $250,000. How much commission did the agent earn? Here we see that the property sold for $250,000. So that is going to go here in my total sales price. I see that the agent also received a 4% commission. So percent always goes in the right column. Now remember to change your percent to a decimal by dividing by 100. So that equals 0 0.04. Now all I have to do is just multiply $250,000 by 0 0.04. And that equals $10,000. So 
So the answer is B. Number three. What is the sales price of a property if the commission amount is $7,200 and the commission rate is 8%? Now we're switching it up a little bit and using the different parts of the T-chart. Here I see that the commission amount was $7,200. Since that is not the sales price and it is just a part of a total amount, that will go on the top here, $7,200. And my commission rate, 8% always goes in this column. Don't forget to change your percent to a decimal by dividing by 100. And now, according to the T-chart, all we have to do is divide. So $7,200 divided by 0 0.08 equals $90,000. So my answer is C. Number four, a real estate agent receives a commission of $12,000 on a property sale. If the commission rate is 6%, what is the sales price of the property? This is just like the last question. Here, the commission amount is $12,000. So that will go on the top. And the commission rate is 6% and percents always go in this column. Remember to change the percent to a decimal by dividing by 100, and now we get 0 0.06. So now, according to the T-chart, we simply divide. So I divide $12,000 by 0 0.06, and that equals $200,000. So my answer is B. Number five. What is the commission rate if a property sells for $350,000 and the commission amount is $7,000? Here we're looking at another side of the T-chart. I see that the total sales price was $350,000 and the commission amount to the agent was $7,000. So with that being said, I know the sales price is my total, so that will go in the left side and the $7,000 will go on top since it is just a commission amount. It is only a portion of the total amount of $350,000. Now, according to the T-chart, all we do is divide. So $7,000 divided by $350,000 equals 0 0.02. Now we have to convert that into a percent. And the way we convert to a percent is by multiplying by 100. Now that equals 2%. So there's my answer. The answer in this is C. Number six, a real estate agent earns a commission of $9,000 on a property sale. If the sales price is $300,000, what is the commission rate? I see I have a total commission of $9,000, so that will go on the top portion. And the sales price of $300,000. So that will go in the total column. According to the T-chart, now we just divide and we have $9,000 divided by $300,000 equals 0 0.03. Remember to convert that to a percent. So we convert that to a percent by multiplying by 100. So that equals 3%. So my answer is A. Number seven, if a property sells for $600,000 and the commission rate is 4%, what is the commission amount after a 70-30 broker split? In this question, 
it says that the sales amount was $600,000. I know that I'm going to have to put that in my total column here. I also know that there is a rate of 4% that goes to that agent, so 4% would go in this column. Don't forget to divide by 100 to change your percent to a decimal. So that's going to equal 0 0.04. Now we multiply $600,000 times 0 0.04 equals $24,000. Now the $24,000 is the total gross commission amount, but then there is a broker split of 70-30, where the sales agent receives 70% of the $24,000. So now we're just going to use the T-chart again and use $24,000 as our total amount and multiply it by the 70% broker split. Don't forget, change the 70% to a decimal by dividing by 100 and we get 0 0.7. Now we just multiply $24,000 times 0 0.7 equals $16,000. $800 is the total commission the agent has received. So the answer is C. Number eight, if a real estate agent sells a property for $400,000 and the commission rate is 3.5%, what is the commission amount after a 60-40 broker split? So here, the total sales amount of the house is $400,000. So that goes in this column, $400,000. And the commission rate was 3.5%. So my percent will always go in this column. Don't forget to change the 3.5% to a decimal by dividing by 100. So that equals 0 0.035. Now we're going to multiply $400,000 times 0. 035 equals $14,000. Since $14,000 is the total gross commission, now we're going to put it in the total column to find out how much the agent gets after the broker split. Since the broker split is 60%, we're going to add 60% in this column. Change it to a decimal by dividing by 100 and that equals 0 0.6. So now I just multiply $14,000 by 0 0.6. And that equals $8,400. So my answer is B. Number nine. If a property sells for $450,000 and the commission rate is 2.5% and the sales agent has a 90-10 broker split, what is the sales agent's net commission? So the sale price is $450,000. So that goes in the total column. $450,000 goes here. Now the rate is 2.5%. That goes in my percent column. Remember to change it to a decimal by dividing by 100, and that equals 0 0.025. Now I multiply $450,000 by 0 0.025, and that equals $11,250. Now I take this money, which is the total gross commission, and find out how much the broker split is. With it being 90%, I'm going to multiply it by 90% here. Remember to change it into a decimal by dividing by 100. So that gives me 0 0.9. Now I multiply $11,250 by 0 0.9, and that equals 10,000 
$25. So the answer to this one is D. Number 10. A property sells for $500,000 and the total commission rate is 6% and is to be split equally between the two agents. If the broker agent split is 70-30, what is the commission amount received by each agent? Okay, here we're going to have to do the T method twice, but then also divide the total commission rate. Here we see that the property sold for $500,000. So that is definitely going in my total column. And we see that the commission rate was 6%, but that is for both agents. So we're going to take this, make this a decimal by dividing by 100, which equals 0 0.06. So we say $500,000 times 0 0.06 equals $30,000. Now $30,000 is the total amount that was spent on commission by the seller. Since the two agents split it in half, one half goes to one broker and the other half goes to the other broker. So we're going to just divide 30,000 by two. So 30,000 divided by two equals $15,000. Now we're going to see how much the agent got based on their 70-30 split. So the $15,000 would go in this column and it is a 70% cut for the agent. So 70 divided by 100 equals 0 0.7. So now we just multiply $15,000 by 0 0.7, and that equals $10,500, which is what the sales agent will receive. So the answer is C. And there you have it, 10 different commission problems expertly solved. Congratulations on completing this commission crash course. Remember, Practice makes perfect, so keep honing those real estate math skills. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss out on any of our future math-packed episodes. Your support fuels my passion for bringing you more valuable real estate tips and tricks. Thank you for joining me today. Together, we're building a strong foundation for your real estate career. Keep studying, stay motivated, and I'll catch you in the next video. This is Maggie Teoso, signing off.